Okay, wrestling fans, we have got some huge news because WWE Raw is officially going to Netflix, so let's talk about it. So for a while now, it has been reported that streaming services such as Netflix, such as Disney+, Plus, such as Amazon Prime have been looking into the WWE, and now one of them has landed Raw. I believe it is a 10-year, $5 billion deal, which is just insane. And this is just insane news, not only because Raw has been on the USA Network for as long as I can remember, for as long as I've been a wrestling fan at least. But also, Raw is leaving cable television for the first time. Raw is going to a proper monthly subscription service, a proper streaming service. And it is just going to have a completely different feel. It's not actually going to be on TV. Does this mean we get rid of the daunted third hour of Raw? Can we go to a two hour of Raw? Can we get rid of that third hour? But also, what does this mean for commercial breaks? Does this mean we just get commercial free Raw? Does this mean we just get some Netflix thrown ads in there? But either way, this is huge, huge news. This is game-changing news. Next January, January 2025, Raw is going to Netflix. But also, while we're here, we got a couple other big pieces of news because it's been a big news day. Apparently, Kazuchika Okada, of course, New Japan legend, he is leaving New Japan this month. It was being reported he'll either go to AEW or WWE, which makes sense. It is now being reported that he might be going to WWE, potentially starting off in NXT. So that is game-changing news because I thought for sure Okada was AEW bound. It just makes sense. It's an easier schedule. He can go back to New Japan. He's already familiar with AEW and Tony Khan. But no, the rumors are saying Okada might be heading to WWE, potentially starting in NXT. Will we get an Okada Nakamura WrestleMania match? Also, one final quick thing. The Rock is apparently a member of the board of directors for TKO. That is pretty big news. That probably answers why The Rock has made a couple of returns recently. He returned on SmackDown to confront Austin Theory. Then, of course, a few weeks ago, he returned to confront Jinder Mahal, potentially challenged Roman Reigns. He may be wrestling Roman Reigns at Elimination Chamber or even WrestleMania. But that is going to do it for this one. Huge news. Raw is coming to Netflix next January. Just huge, huge, game-changing news. Okada may be coming to WWE. The Rock's a part of the board of directors. Big time news day today. I thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I do wrestling news, wrestling reactions, wrestling discussions, all that stuff. I thank you guys for watching. Stay safe out there. Stay positive, and I'll see you guys in the next one.